Hey guys, I'm still at Tallulah Gorge State Park in Georgia, but today is my last day and I'm going to leave in the morning. <laughs> right now I'm hiking down to from the campground to the interpretive center and if you want to see more of this park, and this is an awesome park, if you want to see more of it, watch my last video. I show you the falls and everything. Uh, today, I'm not going back down there. I'm still recuperating. <laughs> Man, those are some tough steps. It's a beautiful trail just coming from the campground down there. Still a little bit of a walk. As you're coming from the campground, You'll see the bridge here at the end of the trail that leads from the campground, and then you can take a left or a right. I took a left, and I'm on the North Rim Trail, and this leads up to the Interpretive Center. If you take a right and go under the bridge, then it leads toward the tennis courts, the beach area, the lake, that sort of thing. But if you want to see the falls, take a left. <laughs> Follow the North Rim Trail. The first of many, many steps you'll be doing. And they're quite strenuous. They, they have warning signs everywhere about health conditions and such. And it, they're not exaggerating. But it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And it's well worth it to push yourself to the limit. <laughs> So I got myself a t-shirt. <laughs> I actually needed a long sleeve shirt. So I thought, well, let's get a souvenir at the same time. <laughs> And they had t-shirts in there that said, I survived the stairs. <laughs> I almost got one of those because I did survive them. But I thought, what will I wear the most? And they were short sleeved, so I opted for t-shirt I liked that was long sleeve. I'm headed back to camp now and if the weather holds up, I might get back out later. But mostly I'm kind of preparing to leave, doing some things while I have internet, <laughs> cellular service, and heading out in the morning. I love this part. Definitely go back, check out the other video if you want to see the falls here. Incredible. Here it is. Can you tell I like purple? <laughs> well, I'm leaving here. The goal is to get up to Cherokee, North Carolina this morning, and then hopefully up the Blue Ridge, start taking the Blue Ridge Parkway today. So I'm a little nervous about this drive. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Entering North Carolina. one piece <laughs> some things in the van didn't though a lot of noise back here this was out here and it looks like I had a spice jar break seriously I did not think that would happen but it came came out with some force I heard it <laughs> so I gotta clean that up and I smelled it let me see what it is I thought it was Garlic powder, oh. oh. But I'm here and I'm safe.
spend a lot of money very quick in there. It's a nice visitor center, very helpful people. I'm gonna take a walk down by the farm museum here. This is really pretty. This path runs right along the river and is adjacent to the farm museum. Love rivers. I find myself worrying about the van. I hate having to think about those things. I'm kind of relying on that van right now. There's a big parking lot up there, and there's security. And so hopefully it's fine. This is incredible. Absolutely beautiful. I hope it's a sign of what's to come today. <laughs> of course, if this is all I see, this is great. I guess this meadow is a popular spot for elk to come out and graze in the mornings and in the afternoons. And it draws quite a crowd. Unfortunately, I don't see any right now. It's probably a little late in the morning. So I guess it's time for me to find my way back up to the visitor center. My understanding is that this trail actually comes out where the start of the Blue Ridge Parkway is, or some people would say the end. South heading north, it's a start. But to get back to my van, I need to backtrack. And then I'm gonna briefly check out the farm museum and then get back on the road and head up the parkway. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to clean up 
all those spices a little bit. I don't know. I may have to wait till I get to camp tonight. I gotta do something to keep them from rattling around now. Wonder how old these apple trees are. I guess they put the fence up because the elk were actually damaging the apple trees. <laughs> At least they allowed the elk to stay. Well, sure too. We had to sweep everything out and store for you. Keep the stuff built up and stuff built. Go in. Go in. No fun, I do. So, I need you call and I didn't help. Mr. Bowen, this is it. Um, Donna tells me about when her, her great grandparents, oh, or a uh, pump organ, when her great grandparents built the farm. Oh, cool. This is about what they. And also a machine. Many of them, right? One way living. different leaf colors. 
even this time of year up in these high elevations like this. Site. Let me show you around. I am at Mount Pisgah Campground just off the parkway. This is a no hookup site, so there's no electric and lots of shade. So I'm going to give my solar and batteries a good test. The picnic table and fire ring is up these steps. Nice little area for having a meal and relaxing. Gotta see if I can get my hands on some firewood though. <laughs> Good picnic table. I'm not sure where that trail leads. <laughs> I don't think it really leads anywhere. I'll venture up there later. Still gotta get my van all kind of set up and oh, I'm tired. <laughs> what, an, what an incredible day though. The day started out all kind of gloomy and misty out and foggy <laughs> and it cleared up to be absolutely beautiful for most of the day <laughs> i couldn't have asked for i mean the skies were were perfect because you know when they're too clear you don't get the clouds and yet you know when they're too gray you don't see anything and i got a little of, I guess I got the best of both worlds. I just, to me, it was beautiful. Oh, the road was uh, <laughs> an experience for me. Um, I've been on the parkway, you know, as a passenger many times and never driven it. And I always, that, that's been a goal of mine. And so I was determined I would, I would do that. And so, that's what I did today, and I've got more to do. Like I said, this is just off the parkway, and I'm going to continue going. Uh, I'll probably rest here for a couple days and then go from there. There's supposed to be some trails around here I'd like to take and uh, rest for a bit. I'm going to make some dinner and see where the night takes me. <laughs> Before I can do anything though, I have a garlic powder 
and cumin I know busted in that cabinet and there's a bunch of garlic powder down on the floor and I know the cumin's all in the shelf so I got cleanup to do first <laughs> to get to the stuff to clean up I have to get the bike out <laughs> I don't know why I brought this bike I mean I guess I was hoping there'd be enough flat campgrounds I'd be able to ride it but I'm not strong enough for these hills <laughs> so I'm lugging it around taking it out at the campgrounds to open up my space under there so I can get things in and out under the loft. I admire those trail bikers who can do the hills. Of course, they'd probably take a better bike, you know, but it is what it is. <laughs> what a mess. Well, I think maybe I need some acrylic spice jars instead of glass. <laughs> I had them jam packed in there. I didn't think they'd slide around. All I have is a broom. I really need a vacuum for this. Smells good in here. <laughs> you like garlic and cumin. So for dinner tonight, I decided I'm just making some chili. I have some frozen pinto beans I'm gonna put in here. I'll get everything sauteed, put the pinto beans in, and then probably let it just kind of sit for a little bit to thaw some more since they're still frozen. That, that fridge works great. Um, shouldn't be too difficult and hopefully I'll get it done before dark. <laughs> I decided I want to cook amongst the trees otherwise I'll have to take everything inside. So I put in some chopped onion, chili pepper, red chili pepper, jalapeno pepper, celery, and I'll be adding some tomato and a little bit of garlic and some cilantro. And then I also added a chili spice mix. And I think there's a little scallion in there also. I'm calling it done. <laughs> the tomatoes really need to break down a little bit more, but I tasted it and it tastes good. I am starving. Well, I'm gonna say goodnight, eat my dinner, and probably about dark, start settling in and maybe even go to bed early. Oh, what a wonderful day it's been. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. To everyone who has, thank you. Uh, I have a lot more to explore, some exciting days coming up, so I will see you next video.